So Daniel, he is the most jiggered person in the second quarter of the year 2023. As you can see, the scalpel is just cutting across horizontally and revealing the underlying thing, which is not flesh, but just bugs, these parasites that are there sucking his blood, feasting on him, eating people alive. And we are publishing this video at riseofsociety.net. It's $10 per month and uh, we don't charge that cash it's it's done it's charged by you screen you screen is an american technological company that is mandated to collect the money and then they release it to rise of society after 60 days so please go and subscribe we have a, th a thousand videos there and you will truly have become a donor. Not just a viewer, but a donor. So we are offering our viewers a chance to become a donor. So that as you view the content, uh, which I believe you enjoy because people don't view things they don't enjoy. As you enjoy, you know, seeing the Jigga die, you also are contributing towards the, the mission. You are not just a spectator, but an active participant, a responsible person in your little corner, wherever you are across the globe. So we have a chance, and I know no other organization that is directly impacting people's lives like we do at Rise Up Society. We have so many non-government organizations that are well equipped with more manpower and resources and a lot of money, but you practically won't see much to an extent where the NGOs are called nothing going on. And that is true. You only see huge fuel guzzlers in big cities with the workers called expatriates visiting the Masai Mara, the Sabon National Parks. You'll meet them at the White Sand Hotel in, in, in Mombasa and in, in Dar es Salaam. And nothing really goes on with the poor. These people have very, very excellent paperwork, beautiful websites. But that is where it ends. Very little of their monies come down to the real people. This story is different with the rise of society. As much as we are not perfect, and we have never claimed to be perfect, but we are just here doing what, what we can daily to help somebody. And that is what matters. Helping somebody, just one person, just little, that little child, that little man, that little widow, touching their tears, giving them something to eat with their orphans. That is what really matters. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be known. We don't shout about it. That's why you'll never see us on TV. Like, you know, pub publishing what we do. Or, you know, being interviewed. We, we don't love that. We just want to quietly and confidently execute our divine mandate. Which we happen to know what it is. So we don't seek after anyone's approval. We don't need their accolades. We just want to do what is right. And in so doing, we have evaded a lot of illumination, a lot of debate, and the mad slinging that comes with popularity and populism. So we are here in the boondocks, in the middle of nowhere. This is a place called... Uh, um, 
Ebuali, eh? Mm. Ebuali, where? Esalwa. Esalwa. Esalwa, yes. You can check that on Google Maps. You'll see Esalwa. Esalwa is, is in Vihiga County in Western Kenya. That's where we are, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. And those who will not access this video through YouTube will not even know that we exist because we don't do publicity. We just, we're just down and dirty and doing little things sometimes wrongly, but doing it anyway. <coughs> and our little efforts are magnified by the grace of God. We have achieved tremendous results. I think if you had donorship of up to 500 million, we will be above you when it comes to the results. Our results are headed towards a billion dollars or more because the impact that we have had on the lives of the people is gigantic, unimaginable, gigantic to unimaginable proportions. So without much bragging, and if we brag, then we shall brag in the Lord, as yeah, Apostle right. Paul says. He says, if I brag, then I brag in the Lord. Meaning that I don't claim any glory. I don't own anything. I'm just a vessel. Paul planted, Barnabas watered, and the Lord brought the increase. So we, we're not claiming to be owners because no human being can captain such a vessel that will do such. That must be the finger of God himself. He must be the one championing the, such a course. We've been fought. We've fought many wars. We've been hurt, backstabbed and lied upon and maligned and written off as being illegal and doing the wrong thing. Every manner of utterance that is not nice was leveled against us. You would crush in the weight of that hate and jealousy and mispresentation and malign you would crumple and just collapse and die. If you had called yourself under such service, you would just quit, hang up the boots, and go to some quiet place and sit there and hear the birds as they sing away from the bustle of life. But the captain is no human. It is the Lord himself. He ordered this. He is right on the steering wheel. He is championing this. He is the one who is publicizing this. <clears throat> he is the one who is calling everybody on board, speaking to them through this little, still small voice. And these men and women who heed the call are coming and holding hands with us and making things happen in the speeds that are alarming, concreting homes that you will not see anyone do. But we do it at Rise Up Society because the captain of the ship is Christ himself, directed by the finger of God. He is championing this cause. He is illuminating our need and explaining our desire and softening the hearts of the people who after they soften, they act in obedience regardless of what everybody is saying. And people around would be claiming, are oh, you being scammed? And they say, yes, I know, but I'm sending this money. This is not real. Yes, I know, but I'm in, proudly so. And the arrogance, sorry, 
the adamance of this special group of people has held rise up upright and standing and strong for the last 12 years and today I'm proud of them I decorate them I celebrate them I honor them these are our angels these are our living legends these are the ones that God spoke to about us these are the ones upon whom he opened our hearts to and they read the content of our hearts and they understood that as much as we exhibit weaknesses, our hearts are bent heavenward. And these men and women, I pray for them daily because they have been the engine that fueled, that made us pro be propelled into the heights we have achieved. And if there is anything we have achieved, therefore, it was not by the hand of man, not by the ingenuity, the wisdom, or the contrivance of, of the son of a man, not by the plans or designs, or by the wisdom or the contrivance, or by the prudence that comes out of any book that was written by man. This was done and executed in such an impeccable way by the Lord himself. And to him belongs the glory now, today, tomorrow, and forevermore. When we meet up yonder after we are done, down here, after we leave this tabernacle of clay, we will meet there when these bodies are no more and we have been given the new celestial bodies. We will meet and hug each other and know each other. And we will remember how it was down here. The Bible says, and he will wipe away their tears. Why shall we be crying? And yet we are there. We shall be crying not because of pain, but because of joy. The joy of knowing the brothers we helped, whom we never met physically. Those we touched without really knowing them. That's why we will cry. There'll be tears of joy. We will be family. It will be a family reunion that will last forever and ever and ever. So daily I live through this life and I know I'm fleeting away. I know I'm a passing cloud. And one day I'm going to lay six feet under because here we don't cremate. <laughs> so I'll lay laying six feet under after some time. But there is a blessed assurance that we will meet. Those in the U.S., those in Canada, those in India, those in Brazil, those in Australia, those in Japan, those in New Zealand, all these places where our donors are scattered in Germany, in Russia, those in Thailand. We have a huge support base in Thailand. We have Argentina. I was looking at uh, the statistics in the analytics of YouTube, and I was amazed at how far and wide we have gone. We will meet these people as one family. Under Christ, Forever, brothers and brothers. I don't know whether we'll have sisters there. The Bible doesn't talk about sisters. So we will be brothers, children of the Most High, dwellers of the kingdom forever and ever and ever. It excites me to know this. And if I'll go there and see nothing, I'll still be happy because I know I touched lives.
Ah, oh, the kid and a joke. I'm gonna keep bed and bed. What are the Nicata on gear? Here, the Gnaki kids are packing you may. Singa is saying you may. Ducking a bucket of picking the ritual and a turn. Matter, what Okay. So, we, oh my gosh, this guy had so many jiggers. I thought this was the last clip, but I was wrong. This was the second last clip. So, we're going to do the last clip because he's having another cluster on the hill, the left hill. A lot of jiggers. We will be shooting the last one, which will entail this cluster. And that is Daniel Ota. <laughs>